Hello everyone, it's Anna here. Today I have a process video for you how to make this simple, uh, I would say, travel journal. Um, I made it from scratch using uh, printable uh, inserts. Uh, I have 10 pages printed on the quite thick uh, paper. Uh, you, of course, can print yourself on uh, the thinner paper. Uh, I have uh, lines, I have grid, and I also have some dots um, right here. Uh, they are printed on the A4 size. I got them uh, for free from one of the web website. I will link it in the description box so you can download your own inserts. And now I will cut them into the um, size of this travel notebook. It's the, the one from the last year. And I want to make uh, uh, another one for our uh, uh, vacation this year. Um, because I like to plan things before I go, so it's mostly not for uh, writing the uh, memories during the travel, it's for planning the travel itself. Uh, I have uh, the uh, shopping list before uh, we uh, go, I also have uh, what to pack in your uh, backpack, I have uh, costs like uh, fuel, uh, highways and uh, tickets for the attractions. Um, I also have uh, attractions uh, here and I have let's say Carcassonne, uh, where to park, how much will it cost, uh, how far we have to drive, uh, do we have to pay for highway, uh, how long it takes to drive there, um, what time the museum opens and stuff like that. So I like to plan uh, things at home before I go. So I will have an easy access to the information when we are abroad. Um, I also have a schedules of the buses if, if needed and, um, and costs. And I also have these uh, travel plans. So uh, I stamp the dates uh, of the each day and what we are planning to do on those days. And after we are at uh, the place uh, we are going to visit, I usually change some things because uh, it turns out that weather is not so perfect for, let's say, uh, the cruise. So we change uh, our plans and I add um, and I add the changes here. So when I arrive at home, it's much easier for me to uh, remember what we did each day. And when I'm making my big travel album, I usually add this uh, into this album as a memorabilia. And I also have, uh, have uh, the information I need to add descriptions uh, to the pictures or some memories. You can also write down the memories here because there is plenty of uh, room in this notebook. Um, and it's really tiny, it, it fits my um, bag, so it's easy to carry it around. And I uh, do not uh, take anything else. And I will uh, use the gorgeous uh, collection from Chimel called Box of Crayons. It's very colorful and I really like, let me check if I have it here. I really like this um, uh, folder with alphabets and I'm going to use them to create titles of my uh, pages uh, in the Travels Notebook. I will also add some embellishments. This is the, another folder with the stickers. So I am going to add those washi tape stripes. I do not use them in my uh, in my layout, so it will be a great way to use them up. And there is also an alpha and some other stickers. And I am also going to use the same collection to scrap the pictures after we are back. So um, so I will have the same motif uh, and colors through the entire. Uh, both uh, travel journal and bigger album later. I will uh, put you on fast forward. I will cut those into the proper size. The size of this uh, travel notebook is nine, uh, nine centimeters by 18 centimeters. I will write it down into the description box. I will also uh, add the inches. So if you are from America, you can use the inches and make yourself similar uh, travel journal.
I am back and I started with uh, cutting the insert paper to the uh, proper size. It will be um, 9 by 18 centimeters, which will be 3.5 uh, on 7 inches. And uh, I uh, used 10, uh, 10 papers to create the inner uh, side of my uh, journal. And after they were all cut out, uh, I uh, folded them in the middle. You can use a tool like this. It's a scorpel tool to just uh, make the scoring line and then just uh, use a um, finger or a bone folder to fold the pages in the middle and you will get uh, 9 by 18 pages and you will need uh, oh i said it wrong you will need uh, 18 by 18 centimeter squares or 7 by 7 inches square if you use uh, inches and uh, fold them in the middle and create kind of a book uh, put the pages one into another and now you have the inner side ready time to cut out the cover i am using box of crayons collection and i chose one of the papers from this collection but as you can see my cover isn't a square um, the uh, papers that are used to create the inner inner pages uh, are kind of a bulky so if you want the cover to cover all the pages you need to make it a little bit wider so cut out the 8 by 7 inches uh, rectangle and fold it in the middle creating 3.5 uh, on 7 inches uh, pages <laughs> side of the cover and when you have it all ready just group it together hold it very very tight and use uh, a tool like a needle piercing tool I think it's called in English to make holes I made uh, I don't remember maybe six holes you can make five four maybe more if you like it uh, the stitching to be more um, fancy I just make, I don't remember the random holes, I measure them uh, with uh, the rules so they can be uh, in the same distance one from another. And I took a twine uh, and a thick needle and I will be sewing through the pages to connect them. If you have a stapler, and the long staples uh, you can also staple through the uh, through the journal i know that there are staples like that somewhere out there that i cap that are capable of uh, making holes and bind uh, such a thick uh, such a thick journal uh, but I like to sew it. Uh, it it is really fast and it looks nice and uh, you can choose any color of the thread you want you can mix colors to create kind of a rainbow and you can cut the uh, leftover of the thread or you can use it to create kind of a charm maybe add a button and this is what I will do I will add a button Mm, at the end of the <clears throat> of the thread to create just an embellishment it doesn't uh, it doesn't work for anything it just uh, for embellishing the page not the page the cover and I trim the uh, leftovers of the thread and my uh, journal is ready now you just have to embellish it i will only show you how i embellish the cover it's very very simple because i don't want the things to fall out from the cover and i'm going to add title corsica 2018 corsica it's a polish name of the course oh. island on the mediterranean sea and we will visiting it this summer um, and I'm also adding a year because sometimes we travel to the similar location so I will know what, what year it was and I am losing, using those tiny uh, square stickers from the uh, from the box of crayons collection and I will also move uh, the title a little bit lower and I will add some embellishment above them 
Uh, I will also use additional glue to glue down the uh, thicker letters because uh, glue on the thickers doesn't hold well and I am pretty sure they will fall out in my purse or in the backpack. That's why I have to uh, use additional glue. I am not sure if I will do it uh, with the camera on or with the camera off. Yes, I am doing it right now. And uh, this is how the finished uh, empty uh, uh, journal looks like. The first page is about where we are heading uh, and uh, the time and the distance between the point we start and the finish. I also have a shopping list for what we need to buy before we go. I have a list of uh, things I have to remember to pack because we are going for camping. And I also have a schedule. Uh, I have um, the costs and the attractions and everything. And I will fill them all down before we go. Here are a few close-ups and thank you for stopping by watching my video. If you like it please leave me thumbs up and I also provide you all the links in the description box below. Don't forget to visit Scrapbook Werkstatt to see how many awesome stuff they carry and they ship all over the Europe. Thank you for watching and bye bye!